Welcome back again folks. This is an extension part two of the previous video 4-bit adder using 74HC283 where we basically created two set of switches and then we will take the input. The two inputs will be then fed into 74HC283 which is a 4-bit adder and it will display the results via this blue LEDs. So right now if you look at the orange it's set to 0011 that makes a code of 3 so hence the two LEDs are on and then green LEDs make a code of 0001 and hence uh, the rightmost LED is on that makes a code of 1 3 plus 4 equals 4 the binary equivalent for 4 is 100 so hence you know this blue LED is on and the other LEDs are off Right. We want to take it to the next level where we would want to display this result not via LEDs but also with the 7 segment. Right. So the first thing we need to do here is to get the 7 segment decoder. So just go to the search engine right here, look for decoder right here, drag it to your workspace. I'm just going to put it right next to the breadboard. Also I would need a 7 segment. So let's look for one. Here it is now we're gonna put it right here on top right okay now remember the outputs which are basically everything in blue over here everything in blue is the output those outputs will become the input to the seven segment decoder right and the output of the decoder which is basically all the seven segments a f g a b c d and e all these need to be hooked up to this seven segment right here so i'm going to start off by grounding and providing power to this chip so if you look at this is a 16 pin chip pin number 16 is basically power so let's start with that and uh, that needs to be hooked up to the positive rail which is this one i'm going to make it red so i know what is what Pin number eight is crown. So just simply connecting it to the ground like this. And I'm gonna make this black. Notice here, pin number three, <clears throat> labeled as LEM test. Pin number four, blanking. And pin number five, which is latch enable. These two pins, pin number three and pin number four, the LEM test and the blanking those are going to be connected to the positive rail okay so let's make those connection those are connected to be with the positive rail I'm gonna make this red and also this one the blanking also connected the positive rail however the latch enable the latch enable is going to be connected to the ground right here right here and I'm gonna make this black okay sweet so I've taken care of the grounds and the powers and uh, lamp tests and enables and everything now it's time for me to work on the inputs to the decoder remember the outputs over here the blue wires they become the input over here so I'm gonna first work on the first input which is this pin number seven right here so let's look for output uh, this is output bit one not to get confused the way the 74H3283 is labeled you got um, output where is that maybe it's over here somewhere over here okay so this is output bit zero this output bit zero is gonna be hooked up to input one over here okay because CD451 the way it's labeled it's got input 1 input 2 input 3 and input 4 so the output 0 of 74HC23 becomes the input 1 similarly output 1 this right here becomes the input 2 okay so all the outputs of the decoder uh, of the adder will be yellow which will be fed into the decoder so next up is this right here and then going up here so because I've taken care of input 1 and 2 and I'm gonna work on input 3 so I look for output 2 
which is right here. So I'm going to go this way. Okay, looks good. <clears throat> and finally, input four. Input four is going to be hooked up to output three. Out bit three. Yeah, there you go. Right. Uh, so looks like this is pretty much all set. Now I need to work on my segments. So segment F, starting with that. Segment F is where this is C decimal point. This is F, right? So this is going to be my segment F, and all the segments are going to be say purple. Maybe let's make it purple. Okay. Then move on to the G segment. G segment, I believe, is this one. So that's convenient. Let's look at that. Okay, let's move. Next is A. A is, I believe, is this one. Oh, this one. Okay. So, it's really important you do your stuff nice, neatly, cleanly. So, you know which one is which. Your wiring should be, you know, uh, should look as neat as mine and do the color coding so you know Which one is which and it's easy easy to troubleshoot that way. Okay um, Now I'm gonna go this way go here and Then connect this to segment B which is this one, right? Okay <clears throat> uh, This is common uh, I'll take of the common later uh, this is E right here so this is E okay good this is D so let's take care of D as well common mm, make it like this this is C C is going here right C is going here and looks like I've taken care of all the segments I needed the only thing that I need to care of take care of is the common ground and now notice here the circuit that I had over here I basically had each of these segment connected via a 1 kilo ohm resistor and then fed into the 7 second display remember you got LEDs inside you don't want to blow them up so you want to have this 1 kilo ohm resistor but one way you can actually tweak it around is by using a resistor using a resistor and connecting it to the connecting it to the common so I'll take a common here and then connect it run it basically through the resistor oops yeah here you go here's the resistor it's connected to the ground now I'm going to set this value to 330 ohms Okay, yeah, I'll say 0 0.33, so that makes 330 ohms. And I just want to make sure that I have this properly connected. Yeah, properly connected and connected to the common. You can use any of the common. Remember, there's one common at the bottom right here. You can, I'm just using one because this is close to the top rail. So I'm using that, and maybe I should, you know, give it a different color as well. So let's say this is my pink right here. I think I'm all set. I'm going to change this common anode to common cathode. And looks like I'm pretty much all set. Uh, let's run simulation and hopefully this should work now. All right, let's look at it. You got 3 plus 1 equals to 4. Okay, I'm going to make this 1, 1. So that makes 3 plus 3 is 6, right? If I make this 1, 0, that makes 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. In the blue LEDs, it makes a code of 00101. That is equivalent to saying 5. The only drawback here is that this 7 segment is only going to display numbers between 0 and 9. Okay? Because it can only do that. Uh, there is a way which is not going to be part of this video where we could have multiple 7 segment displays and have it connected to a certain protocol where it would display uh, the answer of the two four bit numbers but again not within the scope but I just wanted to show you how you can connect a seven segment display via a decoder 
to a 4-bit error I see to reflect the answer okay so you got you know how to do it via LEDs and now you also know how to do it via a seven segment now this would work perfectly if it's a say you know um, a two bit adder but since it's a four bit adder so it's only going to display the numbers between zero to nine okay remember that I hope you enjoyed this video till then uh, till we meet next time enjoy your rest of the day and uh, stay safe. Bye.